Hey, what's up guys? Pet Man Matt Morrow, account of Varsity, coming at you with another set of Pet Man's players. And what we're doing is we're talking about underrated players that have shown well in the uh, non-conference or pre-conference part of their schedule so far this season. We're going to jump it, uh, right into it. Uh, first one tonight is Najee Bryant, uh, Mallet Creek running back. We talked to him after their big win over Butler. He had four touchdowns in that game. Uh, but I call them underrated because, you know, they, they share the ball a lot up there. There's uh, four really good running backs that run the ball from Mallet Creek. And when you look at Bryant, um, he runs so hard. Um, that's the thing that really stands out about him. I've seen him uh, three different times this year. And, you know, when he touches the ball, you know, it takes multiple players to get him down. It's rare that he goes down with a single person. That's how hard he runs. Um, he's got good moves with the football, uh, really good vision, shiftiness, um, gets an open field. He can run away from you. Um, a really good back overall. And, um, you know, with him sharing time, you know, he may not put up huge, huge numbers that he could um, in a different kind of offense. But, um, you know, he enjoys it. And he's a really good personality. You should check out his interview um, up on my channel on YouTube. Um, Matt Marr, when you get a chance, I really enjoy talking to him. Uh, next guy is Laz Hayes, uh, running back at Mooresville, and a name you may not be familiar with, but um, I tell you, man, I took one look at his highlight film, <laughs> and the, the main thing that stands out about this kid is he runs angry. I mean, he he runs like um, you took his lunch money, and he wants to go and beat you down and get it back. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way. Uh, I can describe him and um, you know he's put up really good numbers this year for Morrisville they are a run first offense so that makes it even more impressive because you know teams are uh, scheming for him and they're um, trying to um, shut him down and uh, force other guys to beat him but he still gets it done and um, you know that was really a joy to um, watch him run the football for sure. Uh, Emmanuel Alston, um, Myers Park wide receiver. And, um, you know, I call the Myers Park offense the uh, Mustang Express, and he's he's a part of it. Um, you hear about the bigger names in um, Elijah Bowick and uh, Muhammad uh, catching the football. But this kid uh, really impressed me also, uh, namely at the uh, Jamboree. Um, you know, they have four really good receivers, and he's one of them. And the biggest thing that stands out about these guys is they catch the ball, get upfield, and they don't go down easily. They're always fighting to get more yards. Um, they execute well in the screen game, and um, Mr. Alston is a part of that, and a, a very good football player. Um, another Myers Park running back, not Howard, but um, Jaquez Robinson, um, wears number 22 for Myers Park. And um, I tell you, man, this kid um, is really impressive to me. And I, I spoke about him before, and you may not have heard me talk about it. It's in game videos and such. But um, he's really quick. Um, I think he's the perfect type of spread offense running back. He can catch the ball at the backfield. He can make people miss. Um, he's really quick on the inside runs, downhill, in and out of the hole real fast. Um a very, very good player, and I believe he's a junior, so you've got another year of watching him. I think he may blow up uh, next season, to be honest with you. Uh, next guy is David Hernandez, uh, quarterback at Barry. Um, I think this kid is very underrated, man. Um, you know, he's been the man there a couple years now, and, um, you know, they gave him the keys last year as a sophomore, and uh, we've talked to him the past two years when we visited Barry. Uh, very well spoken to him, man. His idol is Tom Brady, and the way he prepares and the way he throws the football and um, reads and and uh, guides that Cardinal offense is very impressive. Uh, put up uh, 300 yards plus and two touchdowns against Mallet Creek in a game where um, you know Mallet Creek um, had the advantage up front, and um, he's doing it uh, with the O line that you know is still kind of developing. So. Uh, that makes it even more impressive. So it's it's going to be fun to watch him uh, go into his senior year, and um, I think some schools need to get on him now and um, don't you know hold it against them for uh, the situation that Barry's in and rebuilding. Uh, see what he is uh, for the talent he is. Um, this next guy, um, one of our guys that covers the uh, 
triad area, Fred Gailey, um, just gushed about um, this guy when I asked about, um, you know, some players up in that area. And um, this guest, uh, young man is named Jake Chrisman. And um, he plays for Western Alamance. And, um, you know, he, <laughs> Fred really said some nice things about him. Uh, it was about 5'11", 180. Uh, he seeks contact. Um, electric with the football in his hands. And I'm uh, looking at his stats. He does a little bit of everything for these guys. He's got about uh, 296 yards receiving with four touchdowns. Uh, he's thrown the ball for 121 yards and two touchdowns. Um, punt returns, kick returns. Um, he does it all. And um, he plays spot duty on defense as well. Uh, he's tough and physical. And I'm just reading Fred's comments here. Uh, believes he's very underrated. So I know I've heard this um, the name before. And he, looking at his highlights, um, that matches everything Fred says about him. Uh, very underrated young man. Uh, very talented. And um, that's a good Western Alamance football team he plays for. And he's a big reason why, uh, for sure. I'm going to jump back to my other list here. Um, next kid on the list, um, this is another one from Fred Gailey. Um, this is a quarterback at uh, Winston-Salem Glen. A very good team up there, um, undefeated right now. That's Stephon Brown. Uh kid is 6'5", about 220. Uh, can really throw the ball well and put it on point. And, um, you know, Glenn is really known the past couple years for their offensive prowess. And um, it, it's really growing despite losing their offensive coordinator to West uh, Forsyth. Um, they picked right up where they left off last year. And um, this young man is a big reason why. So, um, Mr. Brown, Fred Gailey says you're an underrated player and you're doing a good job. Uh, keep up the good work. All right, we'll jump back to the uh, Charlotte metro area here. Uh, talk about a couple linemen. Kajoga Bello, offensive lineman at West Met. We've talked to him the past two years, and, um, you know, he really gets it done for that team over there. Um, not the biggest guy, uh, but he's very strong. Um, kind of reminds me of myself. I wasn't the biggest, but I was, you know, stout. <laughs> And a well-spoken young man. Um, his interview, Dale Ross went over to West Mech in the preseason to interview this young man. Uh, make sure you check that out on the Carolina Varsity YouTube channel. And, um, and just the leader for that offensive line that uh, has led West Mech to a 4-1 and one start so far. Uh, the next guy is Johnny Varga. Uh, big, tough um, interior offensive lineman up at Huff. And, um, you know, he, he really um, is an impressive interior blocker. Um, just watching him a few times. I saw him at the um, Huff Harding game. When he gets into you, um, he can drive. Um, you know, he moves his feet well in pass protection. He can get out on the pulls if they run a pull and play. And, um, you know, just, just a really good overall offensive lineman. And um, does a good job for those Huskies. And uh, the big reason why uh, Jarrett Nagy ran for over almost 300 yards last week against R.J. Kill. Huff offensive line stepping up and getting it done. Johnny Varga is a big part of it. All right, next offensive lineman, Javon Hines. Big, big um, tackle over at West Charlotte. Um, I've seen him a couple times on some film, man, and, you know, kind of like um, Varga. When he gets his hands on you, man, it can be lights out real quick. Um, you know, they run behind him a good bit. Um, he can be athletic with his footwork. Um, I think this is a diamond in the rough, and um, – Anytime you got someone with that kind of size, you can't teach, you know, size like that. And he's around 6'3", 315, I believe. And, um, you know, you're looking for a big lineman, get on over there to West Charlotte and uh, talk to Mr. Hines. He can get it done for you. Um, we're going to jump to a tight end here. We don't have many tight ends anymore with this uh, advent of spread offenses now. But um, Harding has a good one in Chris Poe. And um, I tell you, I saw it uh, two weeks ago in the Gaffney game. You know, they went play action and – um. He ran this kind of like a corner route. And uh, Brahim Murphy, another guy on our list from uh, last night, quarterback, um, hit him in a uh, stride with a 44-yard uh, touchdown pass, and he caught it with one hand. And um, Dale Ross, once again, on the Carolina Varsity YouTube channel, has video of that. It's a great play. Uh, you need to go check that out. And, um, you know, he blocks well. Um, they score, of course, in the run game, you got to have those guys that block well on the edge, and he does that. 
And, um, you know, he even plays a little bit of defense here here and there. So, uh, love two-way players. And uh, Chris Poe does a really good job for the Harding Rams. And finally, last but certainly not least, uh, Dylan Bryan, a uh, wide receiver at Independence. He's really putting up good numbers on a, a team that's um, kind of young right now. Um, but we talked to him in the preseason when we visited Independence. He's a well-spoken young man, uh, slot uh, type of receiver. I believe he has 36 catches, about 600 yards, and um, a few touchdowns so far uh, this year. So he's on pace to have a really big year stat-wise. And, um, you know, it's really good to see uh, someone stepping up and trying to lead that uh, Independence um, offense and team, for that matter. <laughs> Dylan Bryan does a really good job uh, for the Patriots. All right, guys, so that's part two of Pet Man's Players. Um, let us know if you have more submissions. Uh, we'll get into some defensive guys tomorrow, and uh, we'll continue on all the way through Thursday. We appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.